Right there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Red Tail Ray. I'm very excited to show you guys a brand new Raptor belt. <clears throat> um, finally decided to pull the trigger after about a year or two of looking um, very intensely at uh, different companies that are out there. Um, very, very popular, reputable names, uh, making lots and lots of money. Um, if you follow their YouTube videos, some of them out there who have YouTube channels. Um, and I decided not to go with uh, some of the bigger name companies. Um, looking really at trying to support small businesses. And um, also, uh, instead of a Cobra buckle, uh, I really found the idea of this Raptor buckle a lot more uh, intriguing to me. Being that at least um, uh, the Raptors are made in the United States and they took... A lot of the, uh, in design, they took a lot of the shortcomings of the Cobra buckles and, and built that in, uh, supposedly, into the Raptor buckle, um, being that their uh, hardware is a little bit different and their clearance is a little, a little bit different to survive up to um, a lot better with um, salt water as well as uh, sand being trapped in, in places and causing some issues. Well, again, reading a lot, reading way too much into it. I'm never going to have that issues. This is a everyday carry belt, and if you can, of course, see this one is, it does have that Raptor buckle on it, um, made by ADF. This has got the smaller, the much smaller um, male end that fits into it, um, instead of being the exact same size as the the buckle itself, this part is much smaller. So I thought that was kind of cool because you can fit that through your belt loops um, a lot easier than the full size one inch Cobra buckle. And I have a Cobra buckle. I'll be doing another video on comparing these two buckles on these on different belts. So um, long story short, I did find a company uh, right here in the United States who makes this belt. This belt is made by Brown Coat Tactical. Um, offered a lot of really cool options um, as far as color stitching you can get. Um, the patterns for the one inch mil spec webbing is what they actually use to feed through the belt. Um, and it's sewn all the way around the entirety of the belt and then wrapped together on the back by a mil spec uh, Velcro. <clears throat> so the adjustability is on the male part, so that's the part that you take off and feed through your belt anyways, or you can just take it completely off or leave it on this end and feed your strap, um, your strong side, all the way through your belt. Anyways, uh, so Brown Coat Tactical, I reached out to them because I did want um, a very custom rig. Um, going over the two belts I've had in my past quick, this is a really, really flimsy, um, find it anywhere, mock tactical, one and a half inch belt. You can find these everywhere, I think for around seven bucks. I found this at the surplus store that I used to work at. I actually had a few of them. Um, they work, they last, but they, after a while, they really start, um, especially for this one was my daily carry for a couple of years, they really start wearing out. And they get a nice bend in it, they get slippery, um, they get furry edges and they just don't seem to grip anymore you can't once you kind of get it set I can't I couldn't seem to find to get it to cinch up and get tighter if I needed it to if I was changing holsters or adding more stuff to my belt and then there's always the thing of what to do with this besides if you had an, a set of pants um, to tuck this into the extra flap or that extra flap into those uh, belt loops on your pants that worked out pretty well um, other than that no complaint um, this is my daily belt, everyday carry, everyday wear belt for the last few years easily. Now, I did end up also purchasing a long time ago. Um, a friend of mine got this 511, I believe it's the instructor belt. Um, before they came out with, and I don't think they had the riggers belts out there as an option where you could get the extra lanyard attachment or emergency repelling attachment. They built that into these buckles, and again, this is from 511. This is the reinforced with the plastic liner in between two sewn layers 
of 1.75 inch nylon webbing. Um, and the buckle's nice. The buckle's really big and heavy duty. Um, I did find that some of my pants uh, don't accept one and a, or 1.75 inch or one and three quarter inch belts. Um, so that was a little frustrating. And I also felt I'm a pretty little guy that while these belts are designed to be uh, load bearing, this is a very heavy buckle. So you're already, you know, adding poundage to you. Um, I also found that being a skinny guy, this really didn't flex um, at all. And it's not designed to. That's that's the idea is when you hold one of these guys up, you want it to, to hold your um, hold your gun and, you know, hold your other everyday carry items, your multi-tool if you carry something like that, if you carry um, fire pagers, cell phone clips, you really want it to be nice and stiff. Um, but when I sat down, I always found, especially in the car, when I sat down, it didn't flex at all. And this would end up opening the back of my pants up. Um, I guess the small of my back right here um, would not flex enough. It stayed very rigid. And I, I didn't really like that. And I didn't like that it, didn't, it wasn't flexible enough to flex with um, my bending a lot. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has had those problems, but I'm sure other people have had different thoughts on how to make belts, because that's why all these companies out there are popping up with um, amazing alternatives um, to your everyday carry wear solutions as far as belt goes. So I chose Brown Coat Tactical. I reached out to them and I asked, instead of um, getting a doubled up layer of one and a half inch, I, I was just um, asking if I could get a single layer so just like just like this belt but obviously with the added reinforcement with this one inch mil spec webbing that's sewn onto the outside um, that gives it a lot more stiffness and a lot more rigidity and it's a different it is a different material too this is a lot slipperier and it is worn in and stuff but I, I don't think this is the really high quality webbing that's why you can get it for seven bucks um, but Bronco Tactical emailed me back that same day and said they've got no problem doing custom orders. Welcomed the challenge, were very friendly, very quick to respond, um, and made me the belt that I've always wanted. And I, I've been looking at a lot of different places trying to figure out how I could get myself a, uh, a new EDC belt with either the Cobra buckle or the Raptor buckle. And again, I chose the Raptor buckle. I like that it's made in America. Um, it's a little bit cheaper, and I think it's designed better. Um, and I wanted the Cryptek Typhon, Typhon, Typhoon, Typhon, um, webbing in there. And then, if you guys watch my other videos, I, I, obviously, my favorite color is orange. Always has been, probably always will be. And I wanted orange stitching in there too, so, um, they delivered. They delivered hands down and they manufactured it, um, or made it really quick and told me that, uh, um, it would be shipped in like two or three days. So this is right after Christmas too. I'm not sure how busy they were around the holidays. I'm sure they were probably very busy because this is a very high quality belt. I'm very happy with it. The stitching is really well done. It steams um, all the way down the entire length of the belt. Um, not only is the mill spec webbing and uh, good middle placement, you know, like it's been really nicely balanced. It's right in the middle of the belt. The stitching looks good and nice and even. Um, so I'm sure they have processes and how to do that. Um, but very happy with it. I think even over here on the Velcro stuff, uh, and where they added the Velcro loop to the inside of the belt, it looks really, really nice. So this is the Velcro and the one inch webbing through a one and a half inch nylon belt. So the, I mean, it takes a, it takes a little bit of talent. Trust me, I know. I've tried making my own belt, and. Uh, very happy, very, very happy with what the guys, with what the, the guys over there um, did and are doing and delivering. So, Brown Coat Tactical guys, go over to their website, check them out. Um, I did tell them, I, I did let them know that I'd be doing a, a Red Tail Ray YouTube video review on the belt and showing you guys some things. And you know I love gear, and you know I love reviewing gear, and so this is going into the. Uh, the everyday carry mix up. This is my new belt, everyday wear. I'm gonna um, add in a couple more clips of uh, pictures of this belt and um, bring in another video, loop that in in the end of how um, I put this belt on just so you guys can get an idea um, as, as far as how it changes switching from 
a regular belt or like a leather belt to a belt like this, there is an extra step or two in there, but I don't care at all. I think this is badass. I think they do a great job. I'm very, very happy. Um, and uh, they're really nice enough to throw in their keychain lanyard, and I didn't even uh, expect that at all. Uh, not one bit. That's a Cryptek Typhon um, key keeper, keychain, key lanyard, and that's really cool. I, I really appreciate that they threw that in there. Um, very nice, those guys. And again, they, they emailed me back right away. Um, so good for them on, on communicating and uh, staying true to their word, making high quality stuff, making making me Red Tail Ray happy. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some additional shots of this. All right, so I'll show you quick how I actually put this belt on as the, the smaller part, the raptor buckle can actually um, not only fit through traditional belt loops, and this is a set of proper tactical pants, tactical trousers, I believe they call them. Um, but you can also just leave that uh, male buckle attached and um, not even try to feed that thing through, just let it hang out in the buckle. So with the Bronco Tactical belt, how they do it is they have the adjuster built into the male end, and the slip that slips through there. And um, so there's your buckle, there's your end and your adjustment. I'm still uh, kind of looking at this and checking this guy out. This is a really nifty little buckle. And I, I've had my one inch, uh, again, I've had my one inch uh, cover buckle before, but this Raptor buckle um, is really nice. It's a really high tech piece of equipment. Um, I like it a lot. So there's the male end. That's what it'll look like. And that'll slide back and forth. That's your adjustability. So I can just leave that guy in there. And then what, what I can do um, is either fish this through um, like it would be normally. And, you know, Velcro it back on itself like that and then fish the belt through. Or what I've kind of determined I like to do is, is kind of strap the Velcro piece over the end, so I'm sticking this end through first and pushing that through my belt loops because that's just the way I feed my belt through anyways is to use my hands to kind of find the holes and then go around. And so this is what may be different from the traditional or, or other belts you might have worn in the past is you'll actually have an, overfl an overhang, a flap over if you will you got to kind of tuck that um, so they slide against each other and this is supposed to be long enough where it protects the buckle from rubbing against you. And so from there, you feed your, your Velcro in through your buckle and this is what gives you the adjustability here is, is this part. So you can either go over or under, it goes under on these belt loops and you just kind of cinch it up to wherever you like. And then lay the Velcro on, and that holds it in place. And then you got a little bit of play back and forth. Uh, you can adjust it if you want. I know a lot of guys, uh, me personally, I don't mind having the buckle in front. This is where I'm going to be rocking the buckle, but a lot of guys will have the buckle over here. I don't like that on my bony hip um, for you know a big appendix inside the waistband carry rig. I'll show you right now. This is uh, one of the non-tack gear ones um, with a, a, a wing that I'm still kind of perfecting, but this is where I'll be carrying. And that, that buckle sitting off to the side is, is no bother to me at all. It's no profile there. So there's just uh, how that works, how you fish it through and how you pop it on and off. Really, really happy. Looks good too.